So someone told me about the news and the news is kind of good. But of course it makes me get a little bit all, like, oh my gosh. But on the other hand, we're fine. Anyways, for people who are like, what the hell are you talking about? You see the title, hopefully the thumbnail, I don't know. Anyways, it looks like it is not the end. There's so many people who are like, Power Rangers will never have a sequel. Yeah, that's right. The Power Rangers movie that came out a year or two ago. Well, guess what? There's no sequel. It's game over. It's not coming. And then it turns out that it might come. Yeah, Hasbro actually is thinking, hmm, I think we can do a sequel. Yeah, considering Hasbro has been involved at least two things. Like, for instance, G.I. Joe did have a movie in 2009, and it did have a sequel, at least. It made one sequel. Yay. Of course, we can talk about the Transformers and say, hey, Transformers, they got all the way up to the fifth movie until they finally said, okay, enough is enough. Of course, I will freak out saying, oh, God, does that mean that Power Rangers will have Michael Bay in it? And it's like, oh, God, Michael Bay will come back for Power Rangers. Of course, in some instance, it is perfect considering, you know, Power Rangers, along with many other stunts and stuff like that. It does have explosions, so I guess it is up his alley. But on the other hand, I'm like, eh, I really don't want to have sex appeal crap. I mean, the last time that happened, well, he got a girl that looked too freaking damn young to actually be sex appeal. And then it turns out that, oh, yeah, I'm on the fifth one, the fifth movie. Yeah, we're bringing in a girl who is actually really underage and making her look hot a little bit. And it's like, oh, God, what the frick, Michael Bay? What the frick are you doing? Oh, anyways, <laughs> sorry for that little... So, basically what's going on is, like I said, Power Rangers, the movie, might... Well, Power Rangers movie that happened a year or two ago might actually get a sequel, and Hasbro is thinking about it. So that's pretty good. Yes, yes. So everyone, hopefully everyone will come back and... Please, guys, don't start with this whole debate again about the whole, oh, yeah, Tommy should be a girl now. Yes, Tommy girl. It's like, no, no, we got Hasbro money now. Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, we we don't have the money that you used to have now. We have Hasbro money. That means shut the hell up. They can make freaking a new Green Ranger suit and they won't even cry about it. Saban's, on the other hand, they would actually look cheap as frick if they actually said, oh yeah, we're getting a girl, Tommy. Yeah, they'll look freaking cheap as frick because it's like, oh, so you already have the Green Ranger suit and now you just have, it's like, yeah. So again, it does look kind of messed up even if Hasbro says, oh yeah, we're going to get a girl Green Ranger. It's like, no, you can't do that because you look cheap as frick. You already had a Green Ranger suit of a girl. And you're just copping out instead of being like, nope, nope. Tommy's a dude. Let Tommy be a dude. It works so much better to be like, oh, yes. Rita actually enchanted Tommy. And maybe even sex appeal on Tommy. Because there's a few people out there who's like, hey, that Rita in the movie, she's hot. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Is that now they're going to do maybe even take a little note from... Narnia, you know, like the witch. Yeah, that witch who's always like, ooh, Turkish delights and crap. Yeah, but of course, only in the parody, video, parody movie that was a disaster movie, along with what happened in Robot Chicken. That's the only time they actually decided to be like, yeah, sex appeal. Now they could actually use that sex appeal and use magic into their, and that would be cool. It's like, that will be a cool way to form Tommy slash the Evil Green Ranger. That will be pretty damn cool. No idea what's going to happen. Well, since we're on this topic, let's talk about a little bit, a little teeny tiny bit about the sequel. So, just note, again, like I said in the previous ep video, you can check that out. That's kind of old. The Rangers pimp slap freaking Rita into space, and Rita's frozen. Note that Rita does not have her staff with her, means that the Green Ranger coin is most likely still on Earth. And chances are, with Tommy ditching freaking deten well, Saturday school, most likely he found it. Could they be crazy enough to actually be like, okay, well, Rita is now on the moon. And now she got a bunch of putties, she rose up from the moon, and now she's building her own empire on the moon. 
you could do that, but I don't know. I don't know if I really want to root for you to do that. I'm not sure. But on the other hand, I just like the idea of, yeah, Tommy gets the Green Ranger coin. The Green Ranger coin is actually connected to Rita, and thus it has magical properties that actually makes him under her spell. Now, as for the whole Dragon Zord thing, I don't freaking know. <laughs> it's like, if she did have a Dragon Zord, I would figure, number one, they would have hinted it in the first movie. Or number two, they would at least hint saying, yeah, we found a green the Zeo Crystal. Pretty soon, we got to do something about the Dragon Zord or Rita Zord. I don't freaking damn know. It's hard to understand exactly what's going to happen here. Because, yeah, I know. Zordon didn't mention about he mentioned the six ranger coin but he didn't mention about the zords as well that is like oh yeah it comes with a zord so it's like we don't know we have no idea exactly how Rita's dragons the dragon zord is going to play out here we have no freaking idea so if you have a good idea on how that works tell me For right now I don't freaking know <laughs> because it's like there is no sign whatsoever that she actually had the dragon zord and dragon zord got taken down too and plus it's like kind of hard to understand like hmm so does that mean that zordon's ship actually had the freaking zords in the first place i don't know it's it's hard to understand <laughs> it really is trying to figure out what freaking dragon zord where it's gonna come from or if it's going to even exist, which is like, might be a good idea not to have it exist, but on the other hand, it's like, but it's money. Yeah, they already released the freaking Megazord. How you're not going to be able to release the Dragon Zord if they already released the Megazord? I mean, yeah, they can re release it, but on the other hand, good idea to have the Dragon Zord. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's basically the whole entire news that you need to know. They're up for talks on the sequel. Hopefully they'll follow through, have the Green Ranger show up. Maybe Rita will come back to Earth. Maybe the Dragon Zord is summoned by Tommy and it's actually on the moon or something. Maybe the moon base is freaking the Dragon Zord. Durr. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the Dragon Zord is on the moon. Crazy. Freaking damn crazy if that's true. It should be in the freaking damn water, though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They don't hint at it. That's one thing I wish they could hint. But, oh, well. Yeah, tell me what you guys think down below. Are you excited that there will be a sequel? I'm pretty sure want to see the freaking first movie again. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring new... I mean, not new. Bring the veteran rangers back again. I mean, yeah. Having Tommy and Kimberly, you know... Um, Hart and also Date Frank show up. That's pretty cool. But to actually have maybe, you know, Walter Jones show up, maybe Austin St. John showing up, you know, maybe they'll just have them be over there passing by. They're walking by and they're right there in the freaking window saying, All right, guys, we're going to do this again. Itch, all right, knee, all right, it's on, all right. Yeah, they're just walking by on the street. It's like, and there they are. It's like, that's an awesome Easter egg. Maybe to get David Yost. Good idea to be like, no hard feelings, especially since Hasbro's taking over. It's like, yeah, show that David Yost, hey, maybe Saban's is a bastard. The guys who worked at Saban's are a bastard, but we're at Hasbro. Welcome to Hasbro. We're not going to treat you bad, man. You could do whatever you freaking damn want to. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it would be cool for them to extend hands to every person who ever worked in Power Rangers as a ranger or more. But anyways, I'm going too far on the subject. <laughs>